Hey there Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We are going to do a soul to soul reading for you guys and see what the messages are for you. If this resonates, please like, share and comment. That way you can help my channel grow as well as show um, that you are appreciating the readings and the messages. So let's see, Ooh, okay. We're starting off with a big, ba big bang. Uh, okay, we've got trapped in fear, mental conflict, and harmony in the reverse. And I'm gonna keep them in the reverse because that's how Spirit wanted to uh, present it. So it does seem like you are trying to release a connection that you once were feeling very um, stuck on. I feel like this person has been keeping you quiet in a fearful state you were constantly confused and i i get that you uh you've gave it all you could like you gave it your be best shot but yet there is still a lack of peace and a lack of harmony here so <clears throat> your mind is also telling you to step out of it even though your the connection is still very very strong but you may feel like you've done all you could and you're not getting any type of result um, so that's why you're you're trying to listen to your mind and not trying to listen to your heart so there's definitely a conflict here between the mind and the heart <clears throat> that spirit wants you to be aware of yeah whoa we've got the deception and envy card wanted to come out Whew. <clears throat> it's quite intense i feel like this person has done something that um, really triggered you you may have felt rejected by this individual you may have seen their true nature and that they were wearing a false mask this person could have done something that was quite envious or revengeful is what i'm seeing and you're just like you know what i i can't bear any longer like i'd rather uh, disregard this person than give in to their to their play because i feel like this person has been definitely playing along here yeah look at that <laughs> into the light so all this dark energy all this um distorted energy is now bringing is being brought into the light for you in order for you to see their true nature in order for you to see that this person had some falsity within them that was um you know this person could have done this all out of ego all out of you know trying to stroke their own ego and i feel like they've they've played you or they shuffled you for their own ego is what it looks like i'm so sorry aquarius your readings have been definitely very very intense and as you can see i cannot really help the the cards that come up all right we've got the rejoice and celebration so this could be talking about a third party that might be coming out in the in you know in the future or you may be figuring out that a third party situation was the cause to all of this uh, for others of you it also feels like once you release yourself from this deceptive person and this energy and you do you know proceed with this uh, with this breakup you will be feeling much more lighter and you feel you will be feeling much more positive and meeting new people and enjoying life again celebrating life this is more like oh my god finally i am over it like finally i can enjoy myself or enjoy my singlehood right after a very karmic situation that has been playing out in your life so let's see what else with the tarot what else are the messages for aquarius what else are the messages for Aquarius, please? Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does your soul need to know about this? We've got the Ten of Cups. We've got the Ten of Cups, though. Three of Swords reversed, which is talking about healing, forgiveness. Uh, releasing a painful situation in your life. We've got the Four of Wands reversed. We've got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. We've got the Four of Swords. 
Ace of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Wands reversed. The Sun reversed with the Justice upright. You may have had some type of financial connection with this individual or there was some type of financial uh, dependence when it comes to this relationship maybe perhaps you gave this money uh, you gave this money you gave this person a lot of your money in order to help them and that's why this um, this deception feels so harsh now this could also be in friendship right like don't don't just assume that this is about love but maybe there was a friend in your surrounding that abused you like that used your money that used you for your generosity and i feel like that's the reason why you feel like you need to release this individual and that they they kind of like use your money or use your kindness in order to get what they want out of the situation and they brought they they left you quite you know, they, they left you in, in your darkest period. That's really what I'm picking up on. Like the moment that you were feeling uh, a loss or you were feeling depressed or unhappy, this person just turned their back towards you. And then you started to notice like, okay, if you were a real friend, the way they, that I was towards you, you wouldn't have left me in such a period, right? So I do get the sense that this could also be someone that you used to live with or work with, or this could be a family member as well, but there is definitely a disconnection here. And I feel like if this is a love situation, you're also, you're also trying to accept that union is not really close with you and this individual and that you need to stick up for yourself with this justice card and do the right thing for yourself and make a final clear decision that you will be doing justice for yourself instead of like trying to balance this relationship out because there's definitely been some type of unfairness here. There's definitely been some type of deceptive energy here that you need to take control over because this person is kind of like eating your energy away. This is someone that could be pushing you into a more darker space or I'm ear even hearing like doing some type of gossip to make you feel bad about yourself. So I get that this is saying that you need to Like there is an acceptance, even though the pain is quite hurtful here. All right, with the Three of Swords, this is calling for forgiveness. This is calling you to release any any pain that that you're still harboring towards this individual. And I get that the disappointment comes from the idea that this situation is not yet ready to get in fruition, right? We got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So there is a lack of stability here there's a lack of growth or there is a lack of commitment that is being offered and i feel like you're dis discarding this message or discarding this this relationship because it takes too much energy from you like you constantly need to defend yourself you constantly need to um, explain to this person that you're being you know that you're hurt and some of you are not even trying to do that like that's how you feel towards your own situation so that does not mean that you are constantly explaining this person that you're hurt but you're explaining yourself like this is too much too much energy for me to uh to hold on to and it keeps on repeating itself so you're be being asked to make a solid decision towards your future and do what is right for you do what is right for you And just go into your healing. Take a break from the situation in order for things to clear up for you with the Four of Swords. You need to think about all the things that this person has said to you, uh, all the things that they did not say, right? Like no message is also a message type of energy is what I'm picking up on here. Because you're, you're dealing with someone that is 
always on defense like they they always blame you with this knight of swords kind of energy like there's always some type of assumption or uh, jumping to conclusion or uh, being very harsh in the communication just to you know protect their uh, protect themselves and it's hurting you like it's it's harming you a lot in this in this connection and i feel like spirit is really asking you to Take down your defenses and take this time out away from this individual for the time being with the hangman. In the reverse, this is surrendering, surrendering to what is and allowing time to actually heal within this situation. Fertility. Potential, powerful, creative energy and initiation energy. This is really beautiful. I feel like this is where you need to be focusing on. Um, maybe you guys, you know, maybe you were pregnant. Maybe there was a lot of uh, energy here going on in regards to some type of pregnancy in your life. It could be you or it could be someone else in your surrounding. Uh, this is also saying that there is a new start that is coming. That is a new potential, new beginning for you or with someone else or with this individual, maybe, I'm not sure, because I feel like there is still a lot to, to heal within this dynamic for both of you. Like there is a, there, there are a lot of trust issues here. The return of the Aphrodite. This is really saying that you need to, you need to trust in your own potential. You need to trust in your own divinity. All right. You, you do have the key to unlock your divine essence or your divine um, talents. And I feel like you need to be focusing more on, on your divinity or your feminine energy. All right. This is also being in tune with your sensual sides, all right, because the Aphrodite is definitely uh, a sensual energy. So being more comfortable within yourself, within your body. One more. And farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. So again, farewell with the moon is actually saying that some type of secret will be coming to the light. Whoa, look at that. We got the magic of the Kulian Druid, caution, secrecy, and worry. I believe that Scorpio had this message as well. There was one sign that got both of these cards coming out, which is most likely talking about something underhand that has been done. Um, it could be in terms of magic or dark energies that has been um, done behind your back that will be released. All right, there will be, you will get a lot of information in regards to that. It could be through your intuition. It could be happening um, around the full moon, which we just had, or we are having it today as I'm recording this video in Scorpio. And Scorpio does bring out a lot of that dark energies and the hidden stuff. And also um, could be definitely talking about magic that has been done behind your back and that will be re 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 revealed. Who? let's see. What else do you need to know, Aquarius? Loyalty, see, I'm not even having reversals, but this loyalty card coming out in the reverse does make a lot of sense with your reading. This was someone that was not loyal towards you, not loyal to, you know, behind your back as well, especially if it's maybe a friend, this person may have uh, talked bad about you or um, put some mud on your, on your name or uh, try to diminish your image in some type of way but whatever they did they they broke some type of bond with you they broke broke some type of promise towards you and they did not show you loyalty one more card so you're, you're gonna receive some type of message here that's what it's telling me you will receive some type of message it could be quite a, a direct message maybe this message is coming from your spirit guys in regards to this magic of the Corellian Druid um, something that you need to pay close attention to one more card here we've got differences and we've got forbidden okay that's 
very interesting energy that wanted to come out. I think that you are being redirected here in your energy, that you are not supposed to go through this path doorway it's closed for the time being and that's because you're still missing some type of information that needs to come through to you for you to have more awareness of what is going on behind the scenes all right so you may be needing to not jump into conclusions yourself as well since there is a lot of energy or information that will be revealed to you so un until you got these messages properly uh, don't try to push any doors to open up because it's closed for a reason to you bring love into the situation new moon in Aquarius now this is again your energy talking about um, needing to embrace your own qualities needing to embrace your own individuality here as well and show love to yourself pour that love that you gave to other people now is the time to give it to yourself because i do sense that people have been uh, abusing you you know taking you for granted here that's really what i'm picking up on and that could be quite a hurtful lesson for you to go through and i'm strongly getting that this is a friendship all right i i, I strongly feel this is a friend that um, that played played a big role in this deception. I believe in the impossible. So whatever you've been desiring, it's it's time for you to trust in yourself. Trust that you are a good person, or that you know you are made of out of love here, and that you need to um, you know spread a little bit more love because this situation could make you feel sometimes very bitter and. That way you can portray yourself as someone that you are not and bring more situations into your life that are against you. So this is saying like step into your own frequency and your own energy and love yourself unconditionally regardless of whatever has happened here. Let's see what else we got here. Light in the unexpected. Well, I think that that is definitely something that we, or we, you, you need at this point because there has been definitely a lot that has been coming towards you here, Aquarius. And th there are going to be people that are going to help you get out of this situation as well. You're going to find the light at the end of the tunnel and it might be coming in very unexpectedly. How accurate is this card unstick the stuck so you've been very stuck stuck in that dark space stuck in that you know dark fearful energy and now is it going to be the time for you to get yourself out of that work hard in order to unstuck yourself from this uh, from this from this dark energy absolutely and the sacred flow of yes so this is being more you know, in tune, flexible, going with the flow, being in your feminine energy, allowing your emotions to flow and just say yes to every emotion that comes to you in order to heal that, to purge that and just go with the flow of life even though that there are some obstacles on your path at this point. We also have shift the way to new potential. So yeah, this is definitely talking about you needing to focus on the light, on the positive, on yourself and find new hobbies, find new ways to uh, express yourself, express your creativity and be focusing more on, yeah, on other things, new potential. If, if, if this door is locked, then don't try to you know, open it up, just just lock it in, <laughs> just lock it in, put, put the nail on the coffin, right? So yeah, that was my reading, dear Aquarius, I uh, truly hope that this was uh, resonating for you, it was quite a heavy energy, I will continue with the extended reading, so if you are interested, the link will be down in the description box below this video, and I'll catch you guys soon, bye!